Um, it's definitely different, you know, of course, Nose brings a different kind of style, a different way of coaching, a different kind of energy to the, to the defense, and, uh, you know, I love yeah, it, and love it, and love it, and Yeah, 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 I feel like, um, I, f I finally got it, like, you know, I finally am like, alright, you know, like, this is it, this is my last chance, so why not? To really, really give everything. Because I said before I was doing everything, but I didn't really know what that meant all the way. And so now that I'm, you know, the older guy in the room and, and, and I got guys behind me who was looking up to me to set the standard, I feel like, all right, now finally I'm like, all right, I got to cross all my T's and dot my I's to make sure I leave behind there with everything I came to get. How much is there a feeling for you of, I need to take my game to a new level this season? Um, I mean, yeah, I'm trying to, you know, be a game changer to be one of those players that they circle on the scouting report. So, um, you know, I'm just trying to get better every day and, and take it day by day and you know, improve my skill set. How do you feel like you become that player? Just work. There's no really secret behind it. It's just hard work. Zach Dodge, you've been in the program for a couple of seasons now with the new many coaches on the defensive staff. Larry Johnson's been the one who stayed. So, have you seen him maybe work with the new coaches and, and be that leader of the program like he's been for many yeah, years? Yeah, I felt like Coach Jay definitely um, enjoys the new, the new staff and they gel together. And, you know, like I said, Coach knows a lot of us to go play. And Coach Jay loves that. Do you appreciate having that stability with Coach Johnson? Yeah, for sure. A lot of. Uh, a lot of other players, you know, I've cycled through coaches, and, and I've I've had Coach Jay as the D-line coach at Ohio State since I was a sophomore in high school, including me. So I've known him for seven years now, and uh, I know what I'm gonna get from him. He knows what he's gonna get from me, and we got a relationship to where you know I can be honest with him, he can be honest with me. Zach, you know what it's like to come in here as a five-star recruit with a lot of uh, pressure on you and expectations. How, how do you feel like JT, especially going into their second year? How are JT and Jack handling that, and, and where are they at right now? Um, I mean, first of all, I'm going to say all that star stuff is absolutely nothing when you walk through the door. Like, so I feel like they did a good job of coming in and uh, just, just working, just working, trusting on us to you know, help them out and, and to get them where we, can, we see that they can be. And um, you know, just, just like I said, just working and, and grinding and getting better and improving every day. What do you expect out of them this year? It seems like you're, obviously you're going to play a lot, probably yeah. start. It seems like they're going to play a lot. Just what do you expect out of JT yeah. and Jack, the, the Jack this year? Big things. And what, what, what about yourself? Big things. Big things. Tyler Friday was just named as a captain. What have you seen from him to become a leader of this team? Friday has been a leader since the dad walked in the building. You know, Friday is a guy that that um, that the older guys, the other leaders, go to for, for advice and go to for when when they got something on their mind. You know, you know you go to, I go to Friday when, when things aren't going right, and I know that Friday is going to have my back, and I got Friday's back. So having him as a captain and, and being one of the leaders of the team, it's like. I expected it since from day one that he was going to be one of those guys who, who put the team on his back and just you know, led us to where he wanted to go. Obviously, you were a captain last year. Do you feel like it's equally important for you to have the same kind of leadership this year? Yeah, I always, I always say that. Um, <clears throat> you know, they weren't, they're not captains because they're the captains. If that makes sense. Like they're captains because they embody like leadership in the program. And, and I felt like just because my name wasn't voted captain, I won't have a C on my shoes. Doesn't mean that I'm not still a leader of the program. And, and I, I know the guys are still looking up to me. And so I have to maintain that standard regardless of being a captain or not. We've heard about more nastiness from this team than the quicker off the ball. How have you grown in that and how have you seen it? Yeah, I just, I just, the biggest thing for me is just the energy. You know, we're just playing with so much juice and so much, so having so much fun out there. And it's like, when defenses are playing, playing fun and they're playing fast and they're playing physical, it's, so that's the combination for a great defense. And I feel like we have the potential to do that. Obviously, you got to go out there and put it on the field. You know, talk is just talk, but um, I feel like we're heading towards the right direction. Devin Wilson said this defense matched up pretty well on Saturday with the offense. Did you guys feel that? And when you're going up against the best offense in the country, how does yeah. it help? I mean, iron sharp and giant. You know, I'm going against two top offensive linemen every single day in practice in Dewan and Paris. And what better look could I ask for? You know, I'm not going to get two any better looks until, you know, game day. I mean, even then, so when, you know, Dewan and Paris, like I said, at the top of linemen. So just, just in that regard, it's, it's um, the best on best good on good. You got no choice to bring your egg in every day and be your best every day. You're going you're gonna to lose reps, and we're all like, super competitors, and no one wants to lose. And same thing with CJ, you know, and then the DBs and the receivers and the linebackers, you know, it's just we're getting each other better, and you know, we love the competition.
Mike Hall since last year? Um, yeah, I think I think Mike's going to be a great, great player. Yeah, great player. You know, he's, I feel like last year he was still trying to figure it out. He didn't really know hey, folks, what he, Coach he didn't really know what he didn't right. know. And, and now he's kind of getting it. Like, all right, if I just do this, I'm going to make a lot of plays. And, and he's doing doing what doing that. And, you know, he's the sponge taking everything. Coach Coach Jay and Coach Spence is telling him and he's you know, just running with it and becoming a throwing into a great player on his own. Have you seen the difference that like Dave Hamilton made as a true like those kind of yeah. Tommy made as a true you know, yeah. Tommy. He, 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 that, he can be that this year. He's a different type of player than them. You know, he's just not the same. Devon and Tommy were both like huge though and like the strongest people I've ever met in my life to this day. And Mike's not necessarily that kind of guy. I'm not saying he's weak, but they're just different type of players. But um in terms of in terms of impact. I feel like yeah, having a, a disruptor, a disruptor in the middle of the, the defense, right in front of the quarterback every single play, you know, goes a long way. And I feel like Mike Hall could do that. So if that, if that's only his attributes, or what, what is it about him that would lead him to be that? Uh, that dude's twitched up, man. Like, <laughs> like he's twitched up. Like few players I've seen in this program, I'm talking about receivers, safeties, corners. Like if Mike moves, be like, how did you, how did you do that, Mike? He's, you know, Mike, so that's probably the biggest thing I say for Mike is just, is just energy. Like I said, he's one of those guys who's like a spark plug for our defense. When Mike gets going, like, you can't help but to you know, feel that yourself. So, like I said, Mike's going to be a, be a real good player. One day. Speaking of second-year D tackles, uh, I'm not just saying that because he's sitting here. How how do you uh, feel about Ty Leak? Uh, I know he flashed <coughs> last year. What do you expect out of Ty Leak this year? Um, I mean, same goes for Ty Leak. You know, having a, a disruptor in the middle is, is great to the defense. And, uh, and Talik's really grown on his own. Like I said, he came in freshman year and didn't really didn't really know what he was doing, and didn't really get it. And, um, and it took you know him relying on the older guys and the leadership to tell him like, nah, bro, you could really like, be that dude. And, and throughout the winter workouts and the summer and, and all that, you know, saying this, he just stayed on him, kept pushing him and pushing him and pushing him. And you know, we're seeing the results. He's seeing the results out there in practice. You know, being being as big as he is, but also being as quick and as loose as he is, like that's a that's a weird combination. And, and especially the Ty Leak, that's going to give a lot of offenses fits in the future. You've Zach, seen a lot of deep D line. Go ahead. Go ahead. Zach, you mentioned that this is kind of like a What's your mindset going into this year? Do you almost feel, I guess, a little under the radar going into this last year for you? Um, you know, personally, I've, I've last year, I'm not going to lie, I, I paid a lot of attention to you guys and like what you guys said and what and what the media wrote and the, and the other players, were, and other, not other players, other fans were saying about me and now it's kind of like I'm just going to go up and play and you know play my hardest and you know just go get what I came to get and everything else is kind of you know I don't want to say irrelevant but it doesn't, doesn't affect me and how I play on the field so why give any attention to it and just go you know get in my playbook watch my film and hopefully go ball on Saturdays. With that change in mindset how have you seen the game change? I feel like I'm playing a lot looser, you know, just a lot more, just just free, just going out there and playing football. The game I've been playing since I was a kid. You know, I'm not thinking too much about, you know, oh, I gotta get this this game if I want to go to the draft. No, I'm just going out there and playing. And uh, I feel like with that mindset, I can go out there and, and play my best football and put me in the position that I want to be in. You've seen a lot of deep D lines around here. Uh, I'm curious how this one stacks up. It seems like it might be deeper because it looks like at least five defensive ends are gonna play a lot. Mm -hmm. Maybe five D tackles, right? I mean, yeah. ten guys. I mean. I know injuries might happen and other guys might step up, but how does this depth compare to maybe some of the other D lines you've seen? I mean, um, Coach Jay has the philosophy that, like, you know, he likes to keep guys fresh, and I feel like with the team that we have, we can do that. And that's the biggest thing for us, for us and just keeping guys fresh so we can play fast. How much do you have to balance, like, from what the coach is saying, just you personally, from staying fresh but also getting in a rhythm? You know, yeah. you're, you're people saying, like, I need to play a certain amount of snaps to really get in a rhythm. Yeah. Well, obviously, you want to stay fresh. Speak on that a little bit, if you will. Yeah, it's uh, it's it definitely was a struggle at first, but uh, you know the way we practice and the way that our team is set up and the way our coaching staff preach to us is you got to win the moment. So if you're on the field, you got to go win. You got to go win your one-on-one -on -one matchup. Whether you you've had five plays in a row to show first play to drive, you got ten plays in a row. You got to got to go win your one-on-one -on -one matchup, and that's something that you know obviously you like to get in your rhythm, but you don't always get that luxury if you want to stay fresh and be able to play the whole season, all four quarters, every single game, get the fastest. And um, like I said, just when you're on the field, you got to make the plays that come to you and let's go in the moment. Cool. Zach, thank you, thank Zach. Thank you very much.